politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump. They have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. That is Springfield resident Nathan Clark, the father of 11-year-old Aiden Clark, an Ohio boy who was killed last year when a minivan driven by a Haitian immigrant struck his school bus. Those tensions first flared in Springfield last year when a Haitian driver without a valid license crashed into a school bus, killing an 11-year-old boy. That is a heartbroken parent with his wife on the verge of tears, making a powerful speech against Donald Trump and J.D. Vance and their hateful lies about immigrants, calling them right Hopefully so, morally bankrupt politicians for using his dead son as a political tool. Not that Donald Trump is above using anyone's dead son as political tools. We lost 13 great, great people. What a horrible day it was. We didn't lose one person in 18 months. And then they took over. That disaster. And clearly, if it's okay to do it with fallen military soldiers, of course it's okay for the human embodiment of a cancer to society and his tumor of a running mate to do it with a f***ing 11-year-old boy. Then, this week, former President Trump's running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, amplified an unfounded claim on social media. Writing reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. Springfield's mayor said late today the story about pets being killed originated in another town entirely, involving a woman who was arrested for animal cruelty. We've got now elected officials in the Republican Party pushing, you know, yet another conspiracy theory that's just seeking to divide people based on lies. And let's be honest, based on an element of racism. And before I show you that poor father's passionate response, begging these good for nothing garbage piles in human skin not to use his perished child as a tool to further fan their flames of hatred for their own political gain. I'm sure you've all already seen those imbecilic lies now propagated to millions of Americans on the f***ing debate stage courtesy of the orange skin tag. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the, the people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say first city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television taking it from the saying their dog was eaten by the people that went there. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> And thank God the ABC moderator pushed back on that wild claim. And if you thought, as I did, that Donald Trump lost the debate right then and there, well, this next clip rightfully should lose him the whole country. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants, the border crisis, and even untrue claims about f fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. However, they are not allowed nor have they ever been allowed to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. To clear the air, my son Aiden Clark was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. This tragedy is felt all over this community, the state, and even the nation. But don't spin this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine, make the difference, lead the way, and be the inspiration. What many people in this community and state are, and nation are doing is the opposite of what you should be doing. Sure, we have our problems here in Springfield and in the U.S., but does Aiden Clark have anything to do with that? Did you know that an 11-year-old boy could be passionate about gardening, that he could haggle for a better price at a yard sale? Did you know that he researched different cultures to better appreciate and understand people that he interacted with? Did you know that one of the worst feelings in the world is to not be able to protect your child? Even worse, we can't even protect his memory when he's gone. 
please stop the hate. I said to Aiden that I would try to make a difference in his honor. This is it. Live like Aiden. Thank you. And that amount of courage and humanity to look hate in the eye and say stop it, to tell the truth about losing your child in an incredibly unfortunate accident that just happened to be perpetrated by a Haitian immigrant. That is a pure embodiment of the type of, like I said, courage, humanity, love, and compassion that you will never see from Donald Trump or school shootings or a fact of life J.D. Vance. Also today, Vance acknowledged it's possible, of course, that all of these rumors will turn out to be false, while the White House called it BS, disinformation, and dangerous. 